A wild scene at a Zitaline gas station. A man sets a gas pump and his car on fire as he tried to kill a spider. It was a big mistake and it could have been deadly. Fox News, Taryn Asher here now with the crazy video. Taryn. Yes, it's one of those stories, Hule, you can't help but ask yourself, what was this guy thinking? Luckily, no one was injured. And that's why the gas station employees are now having a little bit of fun with this man's moronic move that was all caught on surveillance. There's some people that are scared of spiders, but would you set it on fire? No. <laughs> How about while you're pumping gas and if the spider just happened to be crawling on your fuel tank? Is that serious? Is that serious? Oh, what are you? Is that a spider in there? Well, this guy did, and Susan Adams watched the whole thing go down Tuesday morning while she was working inside the mobile gas station at Van Dyke and 10 Mile in Centerline. He didn't have a cigarette. He didn't have anything on him. So all of a sudden I looked out and I see flames. Susan kept calm, hit the gas automatic stop button and quickly called the Centerline Fire Department. The man grabbed a nearby extinguisher and put out the flames before firefighters arrived. Later admitting to what he did, he spotted a spider on his gas tank. Because he is deathly afraid of the critters, he pulled out his lighter and decided to burn it. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out what happened next and employees at the gas station have been having fun with the video ever since. I don't like spiders, huh? You know what they say about spiders. Let me get my lighter here and burn that spider off. Okay, oh, 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 geez, that's hot. Oh, boy. We say you've seen it on the camera. You dumb so-and-so-and-so-and-so. <laughs> Do you know gas go boom? This charred gas pump says it all. Believe it or not, we're told the man's car was barely damaged from the flames. But his embarrassing mistake didn't stop him from coming back the next day. Susan says almost like nothing ever happened. And he didn't have anything to say for himself? He was sorry. <laughs> he, was, he apologized. He was sorry he didn't know. And, you know, it's just one of them things that happened. Stupidity. That's all I would call it. <laughs> Your stupidity. <laughs> A lot of people sounding off about this story tonight on Facebook. Well, Susan says this serves as a reminder to people that you have to be aware at the gas pump. Obviously, not everyone sets fire to spiders, but with static electricity using your cell phone by the pump, the smallest spark can ignite a flame and you have to be ready. But you got, what was this guy thinking? Well, is he at least in any trouble? Is he going to have to pay for burning the pump? You know, I guess it's considered an accident from what we understand, and it's going to be covered by insurance, and obviously they're just going on with their daily lives at this point. Well, we've all learned a lesson from his mistakes. Yes. Yes, definitely. Right. See you tonight. <laughs> okay.